Ronnie O'Sullivan was in the lead in his first round match against Mick Price, but uh, you never know when a 147 break is going to rear its head and the opportunity for it, but um, you wouldn't expect it in the first round nerve jangler at the Crucible. He's got a number of reds in open play. That's a nice start for a 147 with none on the cushions. And he's now starting to think about how he can open up the main pack of reds. And if you're going to make a 147 break, it's very unusual for there not to be a sticking point around this time of a break. The reds stuck together and you start to run out of reds with which to get the perfect angle on the black. But Ronnie O'Sullivan had one red left below the black spot that he could more or less guarantee getting a right angle on the black and then the critical shot of the whole break how do the red split up after he popped the black? He's still not over the line in the frame. This he needs to go right. And you couldn't have played a better split of the pack if you could put your hand on the table and place the white there. Now, all of a sudden, Ronnie O'Sullivan knows the 147 break is on and he doesn't have to risk any type of pushing the boat out shot to keep amongst the balls. 57. And this is when it would have gone up a gear Mentally, he would have been buzzing inside. No reds on the cushion. And our, an, an amazing chance to have. And he was, he was on fire at this time, running around the table. 65. Getting more difficult now as the reds run out because you have less choices of reds. And so you've got to be more critical with your positional play. Brain thinking all the time, working out the permutations. And this was perhaps the cleverest shot Ronnie O'Sullivan played opening up those two reds. Doesn't waste much time. Hadn't really chalked the cue much during this break. Didn't have time to. When he pops this black, it will be 120. 15 reds, 15 blacks, 15 times eight, 120. 27 points, the colors, makes you 147. 147,000 pounds for this break, plus 18,000 pounds for the highest break of the event. 165,000 pounds for 36 pots in five minutes and 20 seconds. It's a very good hourly rate. Never even flinched, just got down, knocked the black in, didn't think about it. What a great break. And the crowd absolutely loved it. I think even Mick Price did. Nerves of steel, absolute nerves of steel. Or were they? Was he shaking inside, but he just didn't know it?